Olá amigos, eu sou Marcos Amarante, oncologista clínico. Recentemente aconteceram vários avanços no tratamento do câncer de rim sobre tipo células claras metastático. No ano passado, na ESMA 2017, foram apresentados dois importantes estudos. Checkmate 214, que avaliou a combinação de ipilimumab e nivolumab comparado a sunitinib em primeira linha. E foi também apresentado o estudo CABOSAN, que avaliou o uso de cabozantinib em primeira linha no câncer de rim metastático. Na semana passada, estivemos participando da ASCO GU 2018 e nela foi apresentado o estudo Emotion 151, que avaliou a combinação de atezolizumab com bevacizumab, também em primeira linha para câncer de rim. Esse estudo mostrou resultados bastante positivos em termos de sobrevida livre de progressão, especialmente nos pacientes com PDL1 positivos. Então, agora nós temos pelo menos três novas opções em tratamento de primeira linha do câncer de rim metastático. Qual a melhor maneira de sequenciar? Para quais pacientes eu vou utilizar cada uma dessas drogas? E ainda há espaço para a monoterapia? Now this has really been a banner year for immunotherapy and kidney cancer. It began at ESMO 2017 when Dr. Scudier presented data from Checkmate 214. This proceeded on at CITSI 2017. We'll touch on a subset analysis that's relevant to our discussions today based on the same data set from Dr. Mozart. And of course today we'll center most of our attention on this discussion of bevacizumab with atezolizumab. So how do I stack up these two studies side by side? Well, both, importantly, offer an impressive complete response rate, and I think that's a very important element to both trials. As I weigh these studies against one another, I will say that Checkmate 214 has mature OS data, and that gets a big gold bar here, but I would say that there's an OS trend that we see in Emotion 151, and bear in mind the study was positive for its primary endpoint. There's a benefit across risk strata that we see in Emotion 51 that we don't see in Checkmate 214. So good at risk patients, intermediate risk patients, poorest patients, they all seem to benefit to a similar extent in the context of bevacizumab with atezolizumab. On the other hand, favoring Checkmate 214, you've got this duration of doublet therapy. You get four doses of nevo ipi and then you can segue on to monotherapy. But the big decision point in my, here, in my mind here, in my mind, centers on toxicity. And again, the toxicity profile of Bevitezo, I think, is quite favorable. So that really tips the scales, in my mind, towards Bevacizumab with Atezolizumab. So this is my proposed algorithm for managing patients with advanced kidney cancer in 2018, assuming all these therapies that are at our disposal. In the context of good risk disease, I favor Bevacizumab with Atezolizumab, reserving Cabozantin for special populations of patients. For intermediate and porous disease, perhaps Bevitezo or Nivolumab, Ipilimumab, with the caution here of the toxicities associated with Nevo would be perhaps favoring Bevitezo in this context. And again, Cabo might be appropriate for special populations in this context as well. If you're starting with IO, it makes sense to segue onto Cabo. If you're starting with Cabo, it makes sense to go onto Nevo second line. But ultimately, I think our goal may actually be to take a step back from combinations. I think all of us would probably acknowledge that there's probably a subset of patients out there who can get away with just an IO monotherapy or perhaps just VEGF directed monotherapy. This is data published in Science, and it's lovely data that suggests an association between PBR on one status and response to checkpoint inhibition published by Tony Chueri and Ellie Van Allen's group. Where I hope this data is headed is to perhaps suggest that, for instance, those folks with PBR on one alterations may benefit from IO alone. In contrast, perhaps those patients who are PBR on one uh, non-altered may benefit from a VEGF inhibitor alone. É isso aí, se você gostou desse vídeo, não se esqueça de dar o seu like e de se inscrever aqui no nosso canal. Um abraço e até a semana que vem.